Hi. So, um, I usually, I usually don't do a video. I'm not a video kind of person. You know, pictures on Facebook, um, or text, blogging. So I listen to CNN a lot. A lot of you know that. A lot of you probably should stage a CNN intervention. Um, but I was listening to CNN, and this activist in Orlando, gay activist, said, we're used to the hate. He said, we're used to the hate. And that hit me in such a way that I started crying. And I'm walking to Walmart to return a CD player that I bought. I mean, it was $13. I should have known it would sound demonic when you played a CD. And who in this day and age buy CD players but Chris? <laughs> but um, I start crying because he's right. We're used to the hate. We live with the hate. And, you know, I'm sad and I'm angry. I, I'm, I'm sad and I'm angry because 49 people, 49 brothers and sisters or straight allies, they died. They were murdered. They were killed. They were shot. That could be me. All of you who are on my Facebook list, the 51 people who are on my Facebook list, understand this. That could be me. I could have been shot and killed. Now, I'm not saying like in Orlando or what have you, but, you know, in Korea, how many times was I at the gay club? In Atlanta, I've only been to the gay club a couple of times, but Atlanta, as much as it's a safe haven, it's not that much of a safe haven. So when you see this, whether you believe what I do is right or wrong, and you just don't have the heart to tell me, understand this, I could have been killed. Not necessarily in Orlando, but at other places where I should feel safe. And the hate that we live in is hate because we're gay. And, I, and please don't use that term homosexual. Because all it does is negate the love that we have for one another. I had someone, and she is on this friends list, look at me in my face and tell me because... I had sex with men that I was a virgin. And that I could, you know, and that basically she negated the love that I had for the men that I had been with. Not all the men I'd been with had I had sex that I had sex with that I was in love with. No. No. But for the ones that I was in love with, I was in love with. And yeah, we have to have sex. Yet I was a virgin. Now, what does that have to do with Orlando? What does that have to do with hate? She didn't hate me. She doesn't hate me. But it is hate. It's microaggression. It's those small things where you're like, it adds up. It collects in your soul. I had another friend in 2004. Again, this was in the height of the George Bush jihad and Dick Cheney jihad against the gays and lesbians so they could get reelected. I had had one friend say, well, you can have your civil unions. She voted against you know, gay and lesbian marriage. You can have your civil unions, separate but equal. She's African American. She said that. She caught herself at, and she realized how asinine what she said was. And we're still friends. Same with the other one that, you know, claimed I was a virgin and negated the love I had with the men that I was in love with and had had sex with. You know, we're still friends. I still count them in my life. 
because I know their heart isn't like the man's heart who shot and killed 49 brothers and sisters. But I'm angry. I'm so angry. And now what? That's why I leave this. Now what?